Hi there and welcome to this channel. Today I'm going to be removing, I'm going to be repairing the sill which is damaged by a jack uh, being placed underneath in the wrong position. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is removing some of this uh, sealant here just to see how far the, the rust goes under. I'm going to apply a rust remover and I'll show you that later and just paint it on 20 minute sections, uh, 20 minute uh, times each one and then use a uh, steel brush to polish away the rust, okay, and try and get as much of the rust uh, away as possible. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be hammering this section down to try and get it a little bit, these, these bits which are almost horizontal, I'm going to knock them down so I can get a little bit more uh, vertical uh, displacement on that, okay. So you can see that it's pretty well horizontal just now and what I need is to be vertical so when I use a, a vice to grip onto it and squeeze it all down, it's going to squeeze it together nice and tight. Okay, so that's my objective just now, and that's what I'll be cracking on doing. So again, bear with me, just because I'm just doing this myself. So I'm now using this metal brush to remove any of that uh, loose rust. And I'm just going to spray it down with water and then reapply uh, with, a, with some more of the acid uh, rust remover. So now I've got these parallel sided punches and I've got a series of them. Um, you can buy these from Screwfix and I use them to tap down these bits of metal over here. So I'm just using a hammer and I'm going to tap down these bits like so. Now it's quite a bit of force required to do this. hit your finger like I almost did there. And you can see the rust falling off at the same time. I'm going to continue that until it's nice and flat. So here, this is too much of an angle to actually hit this area. So I'm going to use this set of mole grips just try to divert it downwards to a better, more favorable angle. And you can see how it's now starting to, to move down and then I'm able to hit it with those parallel sided punches or metal things. So here we go again. Let's see if that will make it a little bit easier for me. So you can see it now starting to to be easy to manipulate and I'll be using these uh, mole grips etc to do that several times. That's where I am just now. Um, I've got a lot of the rust off it. I've still got some areas to go in there. Um, as you can see there's still some rust areas there. I'm going to be using this vice now to pull it all together and just squeeze all those metal parts together. And a, I've jacked the car up at the back so I can use the 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 uh, little uh, bar there just to turn, get more turn without hitting against the pavement of the bodywork of the car. So that's my next stage which is just straightening this out and then I'll apply some more rust remover afterwards and then let it all dry out and then put a coating of zinc on it uh, followed by um, maybe some paint and then after that I'll be finishing off with a sealant. You can see now the metal straightening up um, and what I'm doing is I'm applying this uh, vice onto the sill and tightening up as much as I can do and then leaving it about a minute or two minutes and then tightening up again. That allows the metal to just compress nice and slowly so it doesn't harden it uh, by, by rapid uh, uh, clamping down. So just it just uh, goes in there nice and slow and just uh, compresses it and then it just compresses it again and compresses it just nice and slowly and allow it to just form the shape that you want it to form. Now, once you've uh, straightened the sill out, you'll notice that the pinch uh, areas here are exposed. So it's basically the, the sheet metal all pointing downwards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna round it off by skiffing it with this uh, hammer. Um, so I'm just going, uh, I'm having to hold it, so. 
I'm just tapping just the edge off it to, to turn the metal round at the bottom to give it a nice it's a rounded edge at the bottom so therefore keeping the the seams away from the rust area and you need that and otherwise what will happen is you'll just get um, you'll just get all the soil going straight into it so basically skiffing it like that rounding off that area okay you do that in, across the entire length and it will just feel curved okay so this is the point I am just now where it's all been cleaned up and I'm going to be using this uh, welding well through the zinc spray just because I've got it here it doesn't need to be well through and I'm going to just spray that area through with the first coat doing the other side as well and then I'll come back to um, putting a second coat on okay and that's where I am just now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some hand paint this time just to paint it black now remember I've got to do both sides uh, and I'm using hand paint because I'm trying to also seal up that uh, plastic area which um, I think is just this little uh, plastic area here um, where it attaches the old undercoat which is like rubbery kind of plastic I want to seal that in as well so that's why I'm using a uh, paint as opposed to uh, a brush on paint as opposed to a spray can and then after this I'm going to cover it with uh, wax oil but I'll leave this to dry overnight and then come back to it maybe apply a second coat then but essentially that's me completed this uh, job so I hope you've enjoyed watching this and if you have please subscribe to the channel and a uh, have a look at the other stuff that I'm doing with the Toyota Alphard um, if you, this has helped you or if you can do it better then uh, please um, do leave it something in the comments um, as well good or bad it doesn't matter um, as I said, this is the way I do things I'm not a, a professional by any standards whatsoever um, just somebody who's trying to make their car last a lot longer than it would do okay again thank you so much for watching and as I said do subscribe